Hello. Today is my first vlog in Korea. Oops. I'm finally gonna do one of the things that was on my bucket list today. So I'm gonna take you with me. I'm gonna go get my personal color analysis done. I'm going to Vic's lab and they speak English, which is really nice, but it is a little bit pricey. I'll leave all the information in the description box below. Today, I don't really know. I have like some things planned, but this is the main event, but I don't think it'll be enough footage to make a whole video out of it. So that's why I'm doing it in a vlog form. But yeah, let's get to it. Light spring, game sheet, charcoal, black. I feel like my skin got more yellow. Charcoal and black, what do you think? Which one looks better? Charcoal looks, your skin looks softer, but it's mm. a little bit duller, right? Mm. Because of itchy in the area too. So this one really looks softer your skin. Mm. So for you, this is your maximum black. Oh. This one, but this one doesn't look bad if you have your makeup. Oh, like if I bold in my features oh. more to match with it. Okay. Here's very summer and winter. Oh. Okay, so let's see which one is the best color. I feel like the darker color. Darker color? Oh. I prefer this one because oh. <laughs> this one I can see your eye back a little uh, bit and your yeah. chin area looks a little bit duller and it's oh, more okay. But this one is brighter mm, and also matches with your feature oh. and this is your age too. This one also. They are same season. Oh. But this one is pastel, this one is more pale color. Okay. Mm. So your feature looks more obvious. Mm. This one like your skin tone clear. Oh. So you're pretty with this light color. This one a little bit dull. You look tired. What about B color? I think my like eye bites pop a little bit more. So the B color you look a little bit dull, right? Oh. This one is much better. Mm. You don't have this one, your feature is clear. Mm. So you can do I wear a lot of this color. <laughs> <laughs> I do too. Me too. Summer mint is I look a little bit dull. This is, I like this color. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I have a lot of this color. Yeah. So this one now you know what is your weak point. Uh <laughs> cushion foundation like me. Uh, then you can look elegant too. Oh okay. Well I never thought I was cool toned. Many Asians think they are warm toned. Yeah, because, because of oh, the uh, skin. Yeah. <laughs> but because of the hair color too, they are really made. so many Asians are cool toned. Oh. But I always thought I was more warm toned because my hair was more brown black. Brown, yeah. Oh. Oh. I'm learning so much. <laughs> You look your feature, your eyes. I can focus on the mm. eyes better than this one. Yeah. But small light is your skin tone looks clear. Oh. But your baseline is more obvious. Your mm. light is clear too with this kind of bright color. Oh. Okay, so your season is going to be winter vibe. I think I wear more light colors. <laughs> your light colors, your skin tone is pretty. <laughs> so now you can decide depends on your occasion. Oh. So you look nice in these two. This one you look bold, mm -hmm. kind of mature, mm -hmm. the red, this pink, you look cute, lively. Mm -hmm. So you can choose depends on your style. Mm -hmm. okay. So when you wear a red uh, dress or lip mm -hmm. color, you should wear this kind of cherished red. Oh. Not classic red because on you a little bit orange and yellow. Oh. So this kind of Red is pretty. What did you do so far? In Korea. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> Why did you come to Korea? <laughs> oh, I've been before. I, this is my fourth time here. <laughs> Any country that you've been in Asia? Hmm, I, I've been traveling for the last four months. 
So I was in Taiwan for two months, yeah. and then I was in, I went to Japan for two weeks, and then. What's your plan? Like originally, where are you from? Ah, uh, my parents are Taiwanese. Ah, uh, yeah. you speak Taiwanese? Ah, uh, I can speak Chinese. Yeah. So Korea is my last stop <laughs> in East Asia. <laughs> wow, four months. Do you feel the difference, upper and bottom? Mm, I feel like bottom is closer to my skin. Mm. The upper one feels a little brighter. Mm -hmm. I don't know, they're very similar. Just don't use too yellowish face mm. because I heard a lot of people, Asian, mm. from the States, when they go to Sephora, mm. they recommend yellow face. Oh, yeah. yeah. So don't use yellow face. Then you're neutral. Mm. So which one is this one? I use this too. This too, you can take a picture, you can purchase. Mm. Mm. All the beyond heavy oh. stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit coral is okay. Okay, like, okay. <laughs> like that color that you see, uh, the peach, uh, is okay. Okay. But you shouldn't do this kind of color. Oh, because <clears throat> this is the blusher that I usually mm, that I have been cool using. Mm. This is cool tone. But the other you one think is all the cool tone color you guys you are doing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I guess subconsciously. <laughs> This is just light. Oh. So after you pick this kind of base, oh. if you want to put poppy, then mix with bright color. What do you think of this color? <laughs> it's like I've never tried this color before. Nice. Mm. Oh. Mm. I don't. Yeah, I don't think I've ever tried such cool tone. Like bright cool tone uh -huh, makeup okay. before, so this taking some getting <laughs> used to. <laughs> Pretty. No, because I'm so used to like the mauve, like berry. Mauve, you look calm, elegant oh. when you wear with the muted color, uh. and this is okay. Okay. But your image, your personality, oh. this kind of bright color suits you better. Mm -hmm. Not used to it. Mm -mm. <laughs> I did not realize how much, like slight changes and tones of colors can change how your skin looks and then i don't know if i caught this on camera but i don't think i did i still can't get over looking at myself i need to turn the screen around i had asked like whether or not being more tan changes your season or whatever and she was like no because it's your undertone it's whatever colors will make your skin brighter then your features brighter the only thing that matters that would be different when you get tanner is like your foundation color you have to change it right but your undertone will remain the same. In probably one of my least favorite neighborhoods of Seoul, we are in Yeongdong. <laughs> Even though I don't like it, because it's very like touristy, it's very shop to you drop kind of vibes. The reason why I'm here though is because I need to shop. Yeah, also, I realized I think I was very like thrown off by the makeup because I don't have any eye makeup on. I only have mascara on, so I think the whole balance of my face was like off. So, do I look better with sunglasses? Leave a comment down below, let me know what you think. It's definitely a lot more lively than the last time I came. Last time I came, it was like still COVID times and everything was like dead, literally dead. The thing about being in these like really crowded places is that I like get physically really drained. Okay, now I'm hungry. Let's go eat. I keep on seeing this place on Instagram. It's like a Michelin guide store, Myeongdong Kyoja known for their mandu and kagutsu.
Food was not that. I don't know if it's like, oh my god, it's so amazing. I have to have this. I do have to say the kalguksu is different from other kalguksu that I've had because mostly, most of the time they're like a spicy broth. And then this one was like, there was no spice whatsoever. Um, so it was lighter and more of like the homey Chinese food type feel, which is my style. I'm like kind of over cosmetics. <laughs> I'm kind of over skincare. Says the person who used to be a skincare influencer. I cannot. This is too much. This is why I can't handle. This is why I cannot handle a young man. But yeah, it's overwhelming to say the least. Just gonna wander, walk off the food a little, and then get some dessert. In case you're wondering where it is, it's over there in front of the Tony Muli in the Soul Mart. Honey comes a little hard to eat, but the honey is good. 6,001. Not bad. Because honey comb is really expensive. I haven't been doing too much in Korea this trip because I've been here before. I am also like almost four months into traveling, so very, very tired mentally. Korea is a place that I'm familiar with, and also having my own room with my own bathroom, having my own space, everything really contributed to me just like being able to pause, live like a normal person, and just like, you know, breathe a little. So that's why I haven't been doing too much and I haven't been vlogging as much. Check out Vic's Color Lab for personal color analysis. They speak English and Chinese and also Korean, of course. Check out my Olive Young Shop With Me vlog if you are interested in that. And I will see you guys next week. Bye! Not quite yet, but I wanted to take some time today to talk about the personal color analysis a little bit more because I feel like I left out a lot of my thoughts and feels about the experience yesterday. It was very like in the moment the adrenaline was going through me so I don't know if I was able to articulate my thoughts completely. So yeah. So the personal color analysis they give you this whole sheet. She fills it in as we were going through the different colors. I thought it was so cool how she like goes through each color spectrum to like pick the shade that works best for your skin, which ones you should avoid, how saturated those colors should be to best match with your skin tone. And then she also gave this color palette because we determined my best two seasons, which is winter bright and summer light. And so she has these cards and then she also X'd out the ones that I should avoid, which is orange because orange is not my color. Apparently green is also not really my color, especially like very saturated green. These colors are like what's best suited for your natural look. What will naturally brighten your skin tone, what will naturally complement you. But that doesn't mean that you can't wear those particular colors that are not within your season. So like if I know that wearing black washes me out, then I know I can like offset that by, you know, wearing bolder makeup or something like that. I can adjust how I look with different colors using makeup. And I think that's so cool because like determining your undertone and your season does not limit you in what you can wear. It equips you with the knowledge of how to wear certain colors. So I think that's a very, very valuable like thing to know especially for those who are interested like me and that goes for like hair too because i asked i don't really plan on dyeing my hair anytime soon but i had asked like you know if, if that also applies to hair colors and she was like yeah you would look good in like more ashy tones if you want to go more like bleached yellow or like 
more red tones then she would recommend going ombre so that you still have that contrast with your natural hair color intact but still get to have fun with different colors in your hair so it's just a matter of like knowing how to apply this knowledge into the daily life that's really really valuable and so even though it is a more expensive experience but an hour session for $140 to have this knowledge with you forever is, I think, really, really cool. I thought that was a very, very fun experience. I would highly recommend it. It is hyped for a reason, guys. Especially for those of you who are like interested in this, it's like very valuable. If you're not really interested, then don't waste your money. You know, it, you, it's something that you don't really need to know, honestly but it is a cool to know. And so I'm really happy that I was finally able to cross that off my bucket list and share that experience with you guys as well. But yeah, that's a little tidbit that I wanted to add about the experience I like didn't really get to formulate my opinion on yesterday during the experience and after the experience because I was like so in the moment. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog and now for reals, bye. <laughs> I have legit been walking around for the past like five, ten minutes trying to find a trash can for this cup. I am not a good eater, right? So my hands are like sticky from the honey. So annoying. <laughs> Why are there no trash cans? There's so many food stands with no trash cans. I don't understand.